Not age. And welcome back. Today we are playing some more Dot Age, and what I did is I went ahead and started another story just really quickly so that I could unlock the next elder. All it required actually was a few days of game time. We went through a few days until we earned a few memory points from our first event, and then that was just enough. That in combination with a bunch of memory points that I guess we got from winning the last story was enough to unlock the next elder. So that's as far as I've gotten. So I unlocked the next elder, I ended the story, and we're going to click on this. So we have the shaman. Let me tell you about the story of the wisest person I have ever met with a deep connection to the natural world. This is the tale of her cursed village. And so the shaman here has the train, the glade. The secluded glade is found in the farthest area of the forest where plenty of animals live. And they're afraid of killing animals. The shaman's people really love animals and get pretty sad when one passes away for any reason. So no hunting. Plants growing generates for nature. Oh, nice. Hey, that's pretty cool. So we do really well on nature events just by growing crops. Okay. Starting resources, 10 wood, 20 berries, and 6 leather. Oh, that's nice. Leather can be helpful. Knows the tent, which I imagine is just a replacement for the cabin. And knows the totem. I don't know what... Oh, that would be a replacement for the signpost. Cool. We're going to play on hard difficulty. Now, this just says difficulty multiplier 150%. I don't know what that entails, if that just means that more threat is generated or or what. Dottage is a long and merciless game. By choosing the hard difficulty, you acknowledge that you are ready to risk losing multiple times. Are you sure you want to play at this difficulty? I think it said the same thing for normal difficulty, so it's just a warning, I guess. Let me... Oh. Is this the old man telling us or the shaman lady? Alright, let me tell you a story. It begins before any of you were bored. Yeah, Ray Tasa. They had been traveling for days in foreign la lands. This is the story of how her village was born. The story of how the shaman bested the prophecy. Okay, great. Her story begins in a remote valley not unlike our own. Just a few more steps, my dear companions. We are almost there. Feel the earth under your feet and the wind in your hair. Let the nature guide us. Okay. We're playing as a group of hippies. Oh, she was lovely. She knew all the sounds of the trees and animals. We must stay here and embrace the spirit of nature. This looks pretty like a pretty nice place, Shaman. Has her face changed? What happened here? Let us work hand in hand with the elements and the spirit of nature, my companions. Together, we will build a harmonious village. Now, let's begin. They immediately began to build their village, guided by the wisdom and grace of the Shaman. All right, so we are placing our bivouac right off the bat. Let's see what we have. Well, there's no big body of water in the middle. There's no mountains in the middle either. It looks like we can expand pretty quickly. Although we can't get to this section of our territory without cutting down some forest or removing some rocks. Hmm. Yeah, it's very narrow. Okay. Well, that'll be interesting. I see some rabbits over here, which we can use. We can herd the rabbits. We're just not allowed to kill them. There's a lot of rabbits. Wow. I think that would be a good thing to aim for. There's so many. They're all over the place. Obviously, cr growing crops is something we we'll want to do for the nature. Uh, I'm not sure where to start here. Because I want space to build other things as well. There's so many rabbits. Huh. Oh yeah, we need berries. Or can we get harvest from these? I think we can harvest from these trees here. Those single trees are probably berry trees. Or apple trees, probably. I will just place this like so, and we'll go from there. It's okay. I don't think it matters too much. We'll build totems and expand the area. Yeah, totem requires animal terrain. Oh, what? Totems generate research. It requires animal train within one. That explains all of the rabbits. Got it. Ah. Huh. Well, I do want to get a bunch of research going. The tent. How do we expand our territory then? Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Town center, bivouac. A tent holds one commoner, not two. But it requires leather. Oh my goodness, this is completely different. 
We definitely want wood. So let's build a wood pile over here. We would have built two wood piles, actually. Right off the bat. Uh, we'll be deleting that one eventually, because I think we'll want to put other stuff closer to our main our town center. I want to put a signpost over here, but I don't know how to get a signpost. So let's just put totems down. Uh, one over here. I guess something nice about being able to put these next to the rabbits like this is they don't have a large footprint. It's just... Oh, hold on. No. no. <laughs> Almost skipped that. Hang on. We'll get... Uh, should we get somebody making a tent as well? That's okay. We'll go with this for now. I want research up and running. Yeah, interesting. So with the thinking post before, it was that you couldn't have any adjacent buildings. Now it actually requires... Oh, we have to train druids. Okay. All right, we'll have a couple of druids going. I'm going to remove one of the woodcutters because we also do need food. There you go. Yeah, so eight. Wait, what is that? Are those nuts? It looks like a squirrel to me. We're not harvesting squirrels, are we? Oh, they're plums. Okay. All right, so now we'll have some food. People are researching. I, I'm curious. If we look at this, sorry. Signposts. How do we get signposts? So hunting tent is still an option, even though we definitely wouldn't want to use it. Memory retrieve for a mountain spring. Okay. A tent. Large tent. Hmm. It's under construction. Oh, there you go. We can research the signpost. Okay, that's what we'll go for first, because I definitely need it. Oh, thanking Mother Earth. The village gains two nature. I missed that. Nice. So I hope that's just added to our starting nature when it pops up. Uh, okay. People are researching. We definitely need more people, though. So a tent would be a good idea. Placing a tent, it, I'm not going to worry about the... Oh! Maybe we don't need signposts. Look at this. Tents give a ton of land. Okay, very cool. So we use tents instead of signposts. Got it. Let's not go for that. A wood stack would be nice. I want to start growing stuff, though. Oh, rabbit hutch. We've got so many rabbits. Let's get a rabbit hutch right away. I don't actually know... Wait a second. Can we use them for anything? Or do they... We would just kill them, wouldn't we? And we don't like killing them, so... A rabbit hutch would be a bad idea, right? Huh. Never mind. Let's go for cultivation. Mountain spring... Oh, mountain spring gains us water. Alright. Uh, forager... We definitely want the forager. Let's research that. It's interesting, because I think some of these... Some of these were researched by default when we played with Matus. Matus. Huh. Okay, we'll go for the forager so that we can find some other plants to grow. Obviously, that's the best course of action. Building one of these is important. Person's gathering that. You know what? I'm going to take this person off of woodcutting. Go over here and build that. How are we going to get leather, though? Can we build them with something else? Might be very important to research a different building, a different dwelling soon. One leather. So if we go to leather here, the skinning rack, the peace tent. Oh, some pips insisted that they could see the spirits of their ancestors in these tents, giving them numbers for the next festival games. Big Game Hunter and Butcher Table. Now, Big Game Hunter, Butcher Table, Skinning Rack, those all involve killing something, I think. Peace tent might not. How do we get that? Produces, oh, produces hope. Produces leather from hemp. Ah. Cool. Okay, let's aim for that then. And we can make a kid if we had the people. We have one person free from a job. They're the person that just made that tent. Let's take... I definitely want to be gathering more food, so let's take one of our thinkers out. Make a baby. Yeah, it's really cool how this just switches things up a bit. That was something actually with Matus, so I, I just did that really quick. Um, just that really quick play to get enough memories to unlock the Elder uh, with Matus. And even in that, the research tree was different. Like, it had different options. There was one where you would... Oh, what was it? Turn stone into tools. Actually, was that always a thing? Maybe that was always a thing. 
I don't know, but some of the options were different. Um, we have people available. Let's get them back to researching and wood cutting. And we're just going to wait for the kid to grow up. Also, we have unlocked the forager. Next from the forager, we have all of these. Now, we want hemp. We get hemp from the forager. That's great. Can grow an orange tree times two during sun events. Okay. Seasonal summer. Oh, specifically only during the summer. Ah, this one is any non-winter. That'd be good. Carrot fields, I think would be a great idea. Although it looks like it might be tough just because of all the animals on the map. I Can we get rid of a dwelling and that would be okay? Uh, I don't know. I think we should build a house over here just to expand our territory further. Yeah, I'm thinking if we have this spot as our research. Now let's just build another house. Tent over there. We have the forager. We are going to need to put this beside some trees. We have trees down here. Let's put a couple of forgers down. I think those are going to be important. Okay. And people will work on those things as needed. Oh yeah, pick a new knowledge. Which one are we taking? The herb picker is the fancy one. Seasonal autumn. Okay. Tilled soil would be good as well. Better hemp production down here, but it takes 45 to get to that point. Uh, oh, the peace thing. Peace. Oh, I guess it would be in community. There we go. It'll be down here. All right, let's get the meeting point then. Oh, I should probably just research better research, right? Hold on. Education, a tall totem, ooh. Tall totem, research, better research, okay. And then we can go for a paper maker and other things. I think I'd like to go for the tall totem actually, before we grab that other one. Um, yeah, people are busy, that's good. They're doing their jobs, we're not starving. I'm just gonna press go again. We're at 14 wood. Actually, no, here. You go build the tent. Let's make another baby. We are going to have a food problem, though. Hmm. Actually, we're going to run out of this very, very soon. So, access to more bushes and trees would be important. Let's put one house up here. I'll put it like that. I guess it's access to that corner. Oh, Bray is available. Perfect. Bray, I would like you to build a foraging camp for us. Well, it's kind of cool that these cost this leather. I mean, the leather is going to be harder to acquire, but, you know, less wood consumption is kind of nice. So, tall totems, we can upgrade those with wood. And totemic temple. Plus one for each animal terrain within one. Okay, so we want to aim to have them. Hmm. That only gets us two. If this was between two things, then it would give us three, but otherwise it only gives us two. So this is a good spot for the Totemic Temple. Unfortunately, I just put a house there. That was quite dumb of me. This is another good spot. Hmm. Okay, so this thing... Nope. Undo this. Remove the plans for that. Can't just move these, eh? We're going to build a tall totem up over here. And then we'll be upgrading that to Totemic Temple at some point. But first, we need food. So let's go for the carrot field. I think I think that just makes sense. People can eat rare, raw carrots, right? We get eight carrots from one plot of carrot field. That would take three seeds. Or ten seeds, and we get 50 oranges. Whoa. But it's only during the summer. We're still early spring, right? Yeah, let's go for the carrot field first, but I think we'll also get the orange tree. We'll do both of them. Cool. Oh, we need seeds, though. We'll need quite a few foragers. What is this guy doing? Oh, he found some fish up here, too. Oh, he gave us some nature. Thanks, bud. Meditation. Very good. Shaman has something to say. Uh-oh, visions. 
bad stuff is coming. She saw a warning from the spirits of the land. The spirits of the land have shown me that the world is out of balance and that we must work together to restore it. Have the spirits forsaken us? Do not despair, my companions. Her face changed again. We are in this place for a reason, and we have been given a great responsibility. Let me tell you about my prophecy. I'm assuming it's the same, right? According to what I saw, we will encounter many events in the near future. Yeah, it's the same idea. And a doom event awaits us at the end. We must prepare for it. I foresee a doom event in the heat domain. Okay. So, I need to get some cooling stuff. The nature, I think, we'll be able to manage just with plants. Hopefully. You said we'd find a new life here. My friend, do not be too quick to judge. The dooms ahead will be difficult, but we must face them with courage and dis determination. Now that you all know about the prophecy, we need to work hard to survive. Okay. And we also have the hope and fear showing up. But it didn't look like there was any hope or fear on the prophecy. I see. I see we have been cursed. An omen is coming for us. Something bad is going to happen. Okay. So nature's coming up, but we are doing fine. We have zero surplus nature. And, oh yeah, and this isn't even generating stuff. It's, it starts later. Well, it's a good thing we're going on the carrot fields then. Because we'll gain nature just from growing them. I... Hmm. Oh yeah, we have this built. Perfect. So we can gather more berries. Right now we're just sustaining. We have plus five, minus five. If we're going to make more kids, we need more food gathering. Should I take these two out? This guy will be done in one day. Now oh, we need the carrots, don't we? Yeah. Where are we planting those carrots? In the middle here, perhaps? A three by three would be great. Because in the middle ones, they're just giving us tons of plants. I don't know if we need that much efficiency, actually. That might be too much food. Yeah, it's kind of a, unfortunate that we don't have a very square looking map. Like, it's very narrow. Otherwise, we could just have a massive field of carrots in the middle. Because they gain a bonus for every other crop next to them. Actually, those might generate more. It's four times... You consider if they had two neighbors. So just a, a two by two square. Each of these would be getting six. So it'd be 24 carrots for three seeds. Which is better output than the oranges and it takes less time so yeah no, the orange trees don't make sense the carrot fields are just better and we get to plant them more often which means that we gain more nature oh the time to grow them might matter though hmm. okay so this guy is gathering some hemp right now i want him to gather seeds because we're going to need those and we'll just go ahead with that all right the thinking post is complete uh, I need to train them? Or we can move someone away from it. Here, let's move these guys away from that. Gets us another worker, and we can make a baby. I'd actually rather make the baby over here. I'm considering dismantling this, just so that we can put the upgraded thinking place in between. Are there any three? So there's two over here, two over here. I guess we don't need to have that many of these lower level thinking places. We'll probably be upgrading to a school or something later on. But, it's not a bad idea to plan. A seed extractor. Oh, hey, look at this. Uh, it takes copper, though. Mechanical, plus two. I don't know what mechanical does. Plus two for each fruit maker within one, and plus two if dwelling building within one. So a fruit maker, uh, that would be a reason to go for an orange tree, but they're still only summer. Or, oh, they're not yearly. Hmm. Yeah, I think the carrot fields are good. Let's upgrade to the Totemic Temple. Make our researchers a little more efficient. Because research is obviously going to be very important to us. I would like to get a carrot field going though. So one, two, three, four. Let's put them over here. Yeah, we'll just do it like that. One, two, three, four. We don't have the seeds for them all. Oh, we don't even have the water. Hold on. We need water. Whoopsie daisy. Uh, mountain spring. Let's research that first. And we have two people not working. Uh, we're doing on food stuffs. Once these are going, we'll be good. Should we make another baby? 
Now let's make another forager and get someone to work on the wood actually. We'll run out of wood at some point. Yeah, the, and the water is important for summer as well because we'll need to cool our pips. Oh, they got an idea. Hey, more research. That helps. A novel idea. Plus three knowledge. Mountain Spring has been researched thanks to that novel idea. They're like, hey, why don't we just get some water? H2O. Large spring times two during water events and heals two burning pips with water. Uh, this, this is pretty good. I think this will be sufficient for us for right now. We just need it for the... Um, we just need it for the, the plant and the crops at the moment. Growth. Fishing post. Hold on. Does a fishing post count as killing animals? Probably. I would think it does. So I'm going to avoid that as well. Yeah, this makes it tough. We're losing a whole section of the tree just to avoid the fear from killing animals. But fair enough, right? We get a bonus from growing stuff. So let's lean into that. Not in the growth tree though. <laughs> in the cultivation tree. Hmm. Tilled soil would be a good idea as well. I, I can plant the, the carrots, but tilling soil might be better. Then we can make some bread. Oh, better hemp. Look at that. I didn't realize. Oh. Okay. Yeah, let's go for tilled soil. And... We don't have any water, but we can make the water gathering place. Forger and a mountain spring. So mountain spring requires mountain. This is the only one we have? Okay. So be it. We can build another house to expand the territory further. Oh yeah, we do need to get working on that leather though. Oh yeah, that's right. Maybe tilled soil is not the right thing to go for here. Hold on. Um, leather was right here, the meeting point. Okay, let's get that first, so we don't run out. Is somebody working on this? Maybe not. This guy's gathering hemp. Let's put him in here. So plus five, minus six. We are technically losing on food. I have an extra thinker somewhere. This guy's gathering wood, but we're running out of wood because we're building this. We're not running out, but we're going down on wood. Getting this built is the most important thing. And then they can gather some water. Also, some of our pips should be growing up soon. Oh, what happened? The omen. Tremors. One damage inflicted to a building and cataclysm threat increases permanently by one. Oh no. That completely destroyed our house. Meeting point. Well, I guess that removes the decision for me. Hang on. Let's, um... Let's just... Oh, rebuild or clear ruins? Let's clear the ruins. We get one leather back. And build a house somewhere else. Actually, we still want to get up into this corner, I think. Oh, right. That was our food supply. Oh, no. Shoot. If I build it here, we don't get the corner. I, I wanted to be in the corner there. Hmm. We can get more food down this way. But we can't unlock both of them with a single house. All right, we'll do this. And that gets us access to those two trees again. Wow, that was kind of a bad one for them to destroy. For them. For the cataclysm to destroy. Peace tree, or peace tent is the next part. Plus one if hemp maker within one attracts the drunk events. Okay. Yeah, we can use that for generating hope too. That's pretty good. Yeah, good hemp production will be important to us. That's from tilled soil. We, so there's a reason to go for that as well. Oh, is he doing the water? I forgot to plant some crops. We could have done that. It's a good thing we had some food stock pod though. I have three... Oh, I don't want to skip. Three pips available. Two of them are going to go gather some berries just to make sure we don't run out of food in the meantime. And then we'll have one person go around planting each of these and then harvesting them. I think that will work pretty well. All right. I should probably check what's coming up on the prophecy here. Cataclysm. So that'll be fine for us. And then the heat. Okay. That will be okay. 
We do need to research something for the heat, though. And somebody go over here and do this, please. Um, peace tent is going up soon. We have four hemp. I guess it's not a mad rush for us to get the leather made right now. We do have three in stock. So it's okay. We're actually doing fine on wood. Oh. Meeting point. Yeah, that's okay. Alright. This guy's generating more seeds. We actually don't need that many seeds. So I'll probably turn him over to something else. In fact, we might even make another baby. Yeah. So somebody make a baby. We did just run out of food production there, though. Someone plant the carrots. We only have four? Oh, when these things finish growing, I bet. That's when we get the nature. Um, We do need more food production. Once the carrots are up and running, I think we'll be in good shape. But until then, let's build another house. Hold on. This is... Totem. Let's remove the plants for that totem. We don't really need that there. So we can put a tent down here. That gets us more land. And I'm going to research the puddle just in case. Just that I have it. So it's not like a realization when the events come up. Oh no, I haven't researched <laughs> puddles yet. Okay, good job, guys. They made a pip. And they have the same colored coats. Or shirts. Oh, I forgot to tell somebody to actually build it. That's okay. Uh, water's still being done. Go plant that, please. You know what? I think I'm also going to tell someone to build a house over here. We could put it out here, and that would be more efficient for make, for like gathering land, but I'd like to keep the spaces beside the trees available. I think we'll need a lot of foragers and things. So we'll put another tent out here. And that should be good. Okay, and then in a couple of days, we'll start harvesting the carrots, which will help with our food issue. Oh, also, this will help with the food issue by getting access to another berry tree. Yeah, it's pretty cool that the way these tents work. I like it. Charma. Charma. Hey, we got some hope. That's good. Cordial talk. It's kind of sad that that's the first cordial talk we've had in 20 days of being here, but I guess you know, tensions are high. I see. I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. Okay, here comes the event. And we did finish researching the puddle. We're going to be gaining four here. Four from Elder. Four from Elder being that the plants are growing, I think. And we'll be gaining four per turn because of this, which way outpaces the plus one. And so we should be, we should have plenty. We don't need to worry about growing more plants just for the nature bonus. Um, a pond, I think it'd be a good idea to upgrade this. Plus two if a water maker is within one, plus one if water maker is within one. Let's upgrade this because we do know that the, the doom event is going to be temperature. We'll want to have efficient stuff there. I think I might even get rid of this just to put two ponds beside this one water maker. We could build another water maker. Oh, that's actually a good point. We probably should have another water maker. We're planning to we're planning to have a lot of plants going on. And we'll need it for the heat as well. Mountain spring over here. That's good. We have some extra pips. Let's make some more. Here you guys, make a baby there. Good. Okay, we have some carrots. So somebody please go gather those carrots. They're gaining four carrots per day. Perfect. Four carrots per day from that. Five berries from whatever. Um, he's... Well, hold on. Oh yeah, four, five. So that should be good. I'm going to put somebody on here as well. I think when we enter spring, I'm pretty sure that these trees will regrow. That seemed to happen with the berry bushes. Oh, when we enter uh, summer, excuse me. It seemed that the berry bushes replenished when we entered summer, so we may as well grab as much as we can from them before that happens. Um, I would like to build another tall totem up here. 
And then after we've researched this pond, I'm not sure if I'm going to upgrade the water gathering or if we should upgrade the uh, the research. I think we'll upgrade the research next. Because look at this, it's going to take us, you know, ten or five more days to get this pond done. Hmm. Okay, well that's good. Let's carry on. Oh, actually there's more carrots to gather. Uh, that's right. We're doing very well on food. And they're not eating the food for some reason. Oh, do, is it only usable in recipes? If so, then I might be in trouble. Uh-oh. Hold on. Let's quickly have a look. Um, cultivation. Here, carrots. So produced by carrot field, consumed by cabin, hut, bivouac, cauldron, kitchen, large kitchen. Oh, the tent. Yeah, it's consumed by the tent. Okay, hold on. If we were to say no berries allowed. Oh, not those. Those berries. They do start eating the carrots. All right. So they can eat both. I don't know why they're not splitting between the carrots and the berries, but that's okay. I don't mind. They can distribute that however they like. I guess some people are just used to the berries that they've been eating. I'm going to make another baby. <laughs> do we have room for more? I don't. Oh, yes, we do. Make a baby. If you have the food, may as well. Okay. So, two babies are growing. We have three pips available for work. One of them should come over here and... Well, we're doing fine on the seeds. Yeah. Work on hemp, please. Also, we have two people gathering water. I... Oh, the peace tent. I forgot about that. Oh, it takes... Oh, no. It takes two leather to build the peace tent. Oops. Oops, oops. Undo making that baby. I need more leather. Uh-oh. We've got a problem. How am I going to get more leather now? I think we have to have a homeless baby. I don't want to take this one out. Okay, we ran out of berries here, so we don't need access to those trees right now. Let's take this one out. Sorry, whoever lives there. You're going to have to find somewhere else for a little while. But we can make you a peace tent. You can hang out in that. Hmm. Alright. I didn't consider that. The puddle... Uh, we're not going to bother building that right away. Oh. Oh. I didn't assign anybody to that. Should be good then. Plus four. Perfect. Oh, feels bad. That's okay, I should have paid attention to that. Alright, we have plenty of nature. Very good. And there we go, we got some more memory stuff. So we had, we do have a couple of things we can unlock, or, or one at least. Whoa, lots of rabbits. Um, Wild Critters, Hare's Den appears on four terrains. Should I just put... I should just put a researcher in between these guys. We want total... Right there. Placing the building here will disperse the creatures. Yeah. And then when we upgrade that, it will be gaining us extra research. Cool. Okay. Let's have a look at the memories. So, all the way over here. Unlocked. We've unlocked a decent amount. So here, Shaman is what we unlocked. And then injuries. What is this? Physician's table. Bandage. Mender's hut. Bandage desk. Mender's Cottage. Those looked familiar. I wonder what the difference is between those and the doctors that we had before. Um, birds would cost us 21 points. We don't quite have enough for that. So we'll see what that is when we do our next event. Unfortunately, our fear is going up. Oh, two from Homeless, right? Of course. I knew that. Speaking of which, we should probably build that peace tent. Peace tent can go plus one if a hemp maker is within one, so let's build it over here beside the hemp maker. And then that should be good enough for now. We're still doing fine on the food. Not not amazingly well, 
but it's good. And I should regrow those crops there. Up on, hooray! Here, let's tell somebody to plant this. I have nobody available. This person's making the piece. Oh, have they already made it? That was super fast. Wow, okay, all right. Turn that hemp into leather, please. Okay, that works. This thing's being built. I I do need the food production. What can we take out of what? Woodcutting, we're doing fine on wood. If you could go plant this, I would appreciate it. Okay, and researching what? I was just thinking that I needed research for something. What was that? Oh yeah, the better research. <laughs> That's what it was. 15. And it'll take 10 wood to upgrade them. That's not bad. That will really help our research. Especially down here. Okay. So the fear domain is kind of taking over, unfortunately. I think what we're also going to do... Oh, we should have the leather? How long does it take? Oh, it takes a few days. Three days to make one leather? Oh no. Okay, two more days of homelessness. That's sad. In the meantime, we can gather some more carrots. And then that means that we'll be planting more so we'll get more nature. They're done with this- oh, they're not done with this tree. Oh, there's another spot for a totem. I just noticed. Hey, there's some hope to offset the homelessness. <laughs> Our homeless guy is singing by the lake. Good on him. Uh, another totem right here would be perfect. In fact, these totems are now inadequate. Let's build one there for four wood. And... Do I take somebody out? We need... Wait a second, is it going to take another day? I feel like it's taking a long time for him to make this leather. I hope I didn't cancel it by accident. Okay. Uh, 29th of spring, so... A heat event is coming up soon. Ish. Seven days. The event will come in seven days. So I should get going on that right away. Yeah, let's build ourselves a pond. Pond takes 12 wood. Oh, oh dear. But it will be pretty efficient. Uh, I just want to have a quick look here. The better pond... Plus seven if a water maker is within one heals four burning pips with water. So it doesn't matter how many things are around it. So putting it in the middle wouldn't help us. We'll put the puddle over here. There you go. And carry on. Oh yeah, wood. I should be gathering more wood. Whoops. We're about to research the upgrade here and we'll want wood for that, of course. I guess we'll be disassembling these. So we'll gain some wood from that. I can put people in here for right now. We ha no longer have any little pips running around. We're getting two leather next day. That will help a lot. And I need a source of hope as well. Um, hang on. You move down here. But also we want somebody to disassemble this. You go plant that, please. And... We don't want to remove... Well, I guess we could remove it, sure. You go... Disassemble this. Or disassemble the one that you're at. Okay, we'll gain two wood from that. Same as if he's working in the wood cutting. And the meeting point for hope is important at some point, but we aren't going to be seeing a hope event for a while. So there's no rush. Oh, would it have been possible for me to place a tent and they would have used the leather they were about to gain? Hmm. We might have been able to save ourselves a day there. I can feel it in my bones. The next season is coming upon us. Get ready for it. In five days. Totemic Temple has been researched. That's pretty exciting. Now, this guy... 
Uh, I'm going to upgrade one of them. We don't have, but well, we do have the wood for two. Let's do both of them. That's pretty cool. All right, good job, guys. Oh, it doesn't cost us 10 wood because we already had a totem there. So it only cost us the difference. Nice. And somebody else can go dismantle this one. We do need to pick a research. I think hope is a good thing to aim for. Should we build another pond? Just in case. I think so. I'm going to build a second pond. And speaking of which, oh, the pool would be way too costly. That's eight, wood, uh, eight stone as well. We're nowhere near on getting that. Mm, performer stall though. Plus two if a social building within one intensifies hope production. I definitely like those performer stalls. We could put it beside the peace tent. Is that a social building? Uh, two happy people. The meeting point's a social building. And the relaxing stand, right. Uh, the relaxing stand doesn't seem very good, except that it can heal distressed pips. And we can produce infusion there. I guess the meeting point and the performer stall are all we care about. I mean, this is pretty good. Turning three hemp into four hope is not bad at all. But uh, this is, you know, six for free. Much better. Okay, let's get the performer stall next. That's going to be 45 research? Ooh. What else can we do? I don't know that I need a ton of wood. We'll, we'll upgrade the wood stack. Let's do it. Sure. Then we can just have one person working on wood, and that will be good enough. Oh, hemp. That's what I want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cultivation... Tilled soil. That's we want that for sure. And I guess we'll put another person on the carrots. We have a decent stockpile going. I guess I didn't really need to destroy those research things right away. There was, we're not using those spots anyways, but that's okay. Apparently nobody was working on the pond here. My bad. We can have one person replant this, but we don't have another person. Hang on. You're going to finish that. I like to keep them going on the carrots. That's pretty important to us. Are we okay on leather right now? I think so. We'll pause the leather just to go plant some more crops. Uh, I need four more cold. We don't know how much the cold is going to be growing. Let's also build ourselves another pond. I'll take this guy out of hemp production for that. Okay, pond can go right there. We might have to destroy this forager as well to put another pond. Oh, hold on. Is he making the small one? Did I place a... I might have clicked the wrong thing. That's okay, we can upgrade it after. Hey, more rabbits. Nice. Wild expansion. Animals expand to close by terrains. Neat. Uh, there you go, we have our two thinkers. Now we're getting eight research. Pretty good from two guys. Not bad at all. This thing is... My... Hold on. This is a puddle. Oh, I'm out of wood. We should still have enough. Yeah, because we're upgrading. I don't know how that happened. How did I mess that up? It will take two days. Alright, that's okay. You do that work, please. And then we have... Oh! We still have the homeless. I never built the tent. Oh, I'm so sorry, buddy. All right, up goes the tent. And we'll build another tent as well. Over here. Oh, that poor guy. Tilled soil, perfect. We can use that. And from there, we'll go for the hemp field. We'll make use of those. Um, two workers available. One house is full, of course. I'm going to have... Oh, we don't have the leather, right? Yeah, let's build it. Let's build another baby. Let us construct another child. <laughs> it's, that's a very romantic way of putting it. Do you want to build a human? Alright. 14 out of 15 on the hemp field. I may as well get going on the tilled soil. We can put one, two, three, four, although that does take up a lot of our tree space. If we were to put things over here and say, oh, 
Why do I still have these sitting around? I do not need those. We'd actually be well off by putting the crops around here. And somebody go plant this as well, please. I forgot about it. And then we'll have some tilled soil right there. It improves the efficiency of those carrots. And then here, here. Oh, no workers available. That's okay. They'll work on it when they get to it. And when this is gone, then we can put another one down there. Cool. I wonder if we'll get a range upgrade for our tent. I doubt it. But it's a little sad. Well, I guess it doesn't hurt to just expand onto this as well. Yeah, we can make that carrot field super efficient. Hmm. Okay. Look at that. A change of season. Are we working on the ponds? Summer. Seasonal threat is set to one plus year. Cure frozen pit from all pips. Cool. Remove frozen from all buildings. Makes sense. Remove snowy from all terrains. That also makes sense. I see. I see an unknown event coming upon us. The vision is confusing, but there is hope. We can fight it. All right, so Hempfield research completed. In five days, we have one of these events happening. We're gaining one heat. I don't have any... Oh, we have to train the watchers, of course. I forgot about that. Okay, so it's going to take a day to train, but then I think we're fine. We only need four cold. We'll be generating four cold per day and losing one or gaining one heat per day. That'll be fine. No worries. I can have somebody go back here to work on the hemp and somebody to go here to work on the leather. Um, the doom coming up, though, is going to be a little bit more dangerous. So I think I want to disassemble this. Disassemble it, sorry. And then build ourselves another pond beside it, just in preparation. And no more workers available. We'll take some research, though. We can plant flower fields, plus one if water makers within one. But why? What does that do for us? I remember the flowers were useful for the the hippie shrine, right? I think. I don't know if we'll be going for that, though. Considering we get so much nature just from planting crops. Herb picker. This is autumn. We should get that going before autumn arrives. Because those herbs were very valuable. The barley field. Uh... Do we care to make bread and stuff? Probably. Yeah, why not, right? Yeah, let's go for that too. Okay. Um, we don't have any leather, so no more houses right now. But in a little bit we will. Also, just to note, the trees did regrow their berries when we changed this to summer. Nice to have. Barley field. Research complete. That was pretty quick. And then next is the windmill. We'll research it. I'm not going to worry about actually constructing it right away, though. Let's... Oh, not enough seeds. Ah, we need seeds. Right, right, right. Change this to seed production, please. I forgot. You know what? Before the windmill, let's find better source of seeds. There was that thing, the seed extractor. Hmm... Plus two for each fruit maker within one. If we were to build that right here, that'd be perfect, except we'd be covering up the rabbits. I think we're okay with covering up those rabbits, though. This is a fruit maker. I hope. Plum trees are fruits. Yeah, let's go for that. And then, oh, you turn the fruits into seeds. I see. That makes a lot of sense. Do we want to bother with that? No, that just takes too long to research it. We'll just have foragers working on it. I can plant... I can plant. I can build more foragers, and that would be good enough. The hemp fields are a thing. Forager... I... Where are we going to put them? There's actually not that many places. We'll put one down here. Beside that. Yeah, okay. That'll be fine. Oh, we're not gaining a lot of food. We're running low on food. Somebody should be paying attention to that stuff. Uh, Why do we have two woodcutters? One of you go gather carrots, please. Uh-oh. We have berries available to us as well now. 
12 wood minus one. I don't know what's... Oh yeah, the guy's building the foraging thing. Uh, somebody go get some berries, please. All right. Ooh, ah. We should probably plant crops over here. We need the seeds though. What's this? Charma indeed. Another cordial talk? Looks like it. Liking. Oh, what's that? Getting to know each other. The village gains two hope. Lao likes Bray. That's good. New quirk discovered. Liking. Well, that's nice. And... We have enough to plant some crops now. I don't have the people available. Wait a second. This guy's working on hemp. We want to change him over to seeds for now. But we also need people to actually use those seeds. We have a pip growing up soon. One, two. The watchers are working on the water. You know what? We don't need... We have 10 surplus water. Or cold. Two surplus cold. We'll need a little bit more soon. Actually, one of you stay here. And then somebody go plant that, please. Yeah, I like how that makes you, you know, more in tune with nature. So we just keep gaining nature over time. That's really nice. I like it. Being strong at one particular domain. And somebody can go till this soil. Oh, actually, hold on. Don't do that. We can go plant some stuff over here. What crops do we have? We have the hemp and the barley. I think we'll build, plant hemp here. Okay. That should be good. And they're gathering the carrots. We are somewhat stable on food until we run out of plums. So I do need to plant more foodstuffs as well. Barley fields are a thing. We're working on the windmill, but it's going to be a while until we actually get a bakery. Like a long while. Because once we're done the windmill, then it's another 45 for the bakery. Which means that we need to plant more carrots instead. I do have the seeds for two more fields. So let's do this. One, two. And tell them to plant them. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll have a lot of nature. This is cool. I like it. Uh oh. A good event. And new memories for birds. We're going to unlock birds next. What are you guys up to? Oh, is it a Eureka moment? Efficient. They made the berry tree efficient, or the plum tree efficient. Three buildings become efficient for five days. Ingenuity. Nice. Oh. As I say, these events are all about showcasing the innovative and creative ideas that some pips come up with. Who knows? Maybe they'll even invent a new kind of bread. Hmm. Maybe they'll invent the first kind of bread. We haven't discovered that yet. So what does efficient actually do here for five days? I'm not sure if it was some sort of magic or the pips if the pips could have been much more efficient from the start, but chose not to. I like that. That's funny. Uh, production 100%. Wow. Doubles production. Um, that actually works out really well for a temporary berry tree. I like that a lot. And then more seeds and more research, of course. That was very good. Those were some good buildings to have doubled. Um, wow. Okay, we've unlocked a decent amount of birds. I see we're still like... We're not even halfway there. Wow. Unlock birds with 21 points. Bird hunter. Hmm. Well, we won't be making use of that as the shaman people. We're gaining some cold. It's good to build that up. In fact, I'm going to put another person in there just to get going on it. We are using up water faster than we're generating it. So it might be a good idea to research better water generation. But I think we'll be good for this summer since we have 21 stockpiled. We only have the one event coming up, so I'm not too worried about it. We can plant more carrots. That's important. 
And it's a good thing they doubled our berry tree because we are actually out of carrots to harvest. Hmm. Okay. And what's this? Oh, two idle villagers remain. We can just plant more stuff. There's really no harm in planting stuff unless we need the train for something else. Is there anywhere else we could aim for to have another research facility? So those are all two spots. Two spot. Not quite. Hmm. Okay. This one looks close, but not not really. Uh, we can till the soil over here as well. Let's till the soil, till the soil. There, it'll be ready for planting. We might even plant barley right now and just get some going. Okay, and those carrots can be harvested. They will give us a lot of carrots out of that. Beware! A doom event is coming soon. Prepare for it, or for it may be the end of the village. Okay, so eight days, the windmill research complete. Excellent, let's just quickly click on the bakery here. Also a still, what is this? It requires copper, I can't afford- Oh, the bakery requires stone, and the windmill does too. Dang, we have to get stone production first. Stone gatherer, stone workbench. Yeah, 15 research is not bad at all. But, uh, oh, we have 11 already, so we'll have the stone gathering going next turn. So eight days, we're gaining four heat per day. But we have some surplus. We'll be good. We'll be fine. Eight days. Yeah, I don't think we'll run out of water. I'm not worried. I would like to plant. I guess barley isn't necessarily the right choice here since it's going to be a while until we can even build the things. Even if we had the bakery research, it's going to be a long time until we actually have the stone. Speaking of which, I should get close to some quarry areas. Uh, we can build stone gathering around here. Yeah, let's get another house down. Oh, we don't have any leather. Alright, let's get some leather. And somebody can go plant hemp over here, I guess. Or barley. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to just have the barley on hand, right? Even if we're not using it right away, we can harvest it. Is somebody planting these crops? I think that's what he's doing. Stone gather unlocked. And from there, should we go for the more efficient one right away? Memory retreat for the quarry. That's the quarry right there. So this one requires stone makers within one. Requires stones train with... Oh, hold on. The quarry... What? So we need to have the stone gatherer to allow us to have a quarry. Well, that's interesting. But it's very efficient. Three stone from one worker. All right, let's stick with the stone gatherer for now and just aim for the bakery. Um, cereal processing, stone gathering. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> let's lay <play> out. <laughs> it wasn't letting me remove the, the building there. All right, tent. That needs to go up first. And it does let, let's build that because we are gaining two leather this turn. Which is good. 32 surplus nature. Looking good. No surplus villagers. No idle villagers. Wait, I did upgrade both of these, right? Yeah, yeah, well, that's why we're getting eight. Four from each. Okay. So that's been constructed. Let's get ourselves some stone gathering. Here and here. Do I have villagers available? One villager on that one. And then I would like another villager to work on the other one, please. Oh, apparently they were not planting. Hold on. The seeds, we're doing well on seeds. Don't worry about that. We'll, we'll leave one guy working on the seeds. You can go plant. You okay on hemp? Not really. Somebody should go. Oh, okay, here. You go gather the hemp. We need a farmer. Oh. Oh, we don't have tools. I haven't even researched tools. <gasps> okay. You keep working here, but gather hemp now. That's not really urgent, is it? We have enough for... A good amount of leather. Yeah, no, don't worry about it. Back to seeds, but also don't do that. I want you to make the stone place. Out of wood! Oh no. Oh, we definitely need that. 
All right, then. Is anybody else available? He's gathering plums. Do we need him gathering plums right now? Mm, I guess so. Okay, we'll just go with that. Only one stone gathering is getting built right now. Aww. Romantic and infatuated. Well, that's sweet. Kiss out of nowhere. Mori is romantic for five days. Mori and Kaffa are now infatuated. What does romantic do? Oh, they disappeared. Where are you guys? Okay, this person, Mori, you are romantic. Plus two hope each day. Oh, that's nice. Very good. That'll offset the homelessness that we had earlier. And infatuated, this pip has fallen in love for another pip. Will they feel the same? Well, I think it said they were both infatuated with each other. Can lead to an event. Ah, okay. Very cool. We have one person available. I do have enough wood now, so they can go build that stone to gather. We're going to need a lot more wood, though. I did actually completely forget about it. Do I need all of this cold? 12 surplus cold. I guess it's still a good idea. We don't need to have both of them working on it, though. Alright. Hey, more hope. That's good. We need 12 more hope to get 100%. Oh, we're gaining two... There'll be a little bit of time before we get up there. The village gains five hope. Ray and Lau are now friends. Well, everyone's getting along so well. That's great. New quirk discovered for friends. This is pretty cool. It's going well. We can take one of these people out. And... Hmm. Go gather carrots. Go plant carrots. Yeah, let's go gather some carrots. We have the person gathering stone. Oh yeah, wood. We need wood. That's right. Uh, when this person is done with the... Or actually, you know what? Let's take him off the plum tree right now. And just tell him to gather wood. Someone else can go onto the plum tree when we have extra workers. The bakery itself costs eight stone. I don't remember how much the windmill was. We need somebody to plant the carrots here. That's a very important spot. That's the most efficient one. And we are actually running low on food again. We're, we're in, in the negative anyway. But I think we have to put up with that for the time being. Oh, there's also berries over here. Hmm. This guy's using up our hemp. I think I'm going to tell him to not bother doing that for now. I would rather gather some carrots. Yeah, the hemp can be used for that hope. It was three hemp for four hope, I think. So if we really need it all of a sudden. Bakery research complete. What are we upgrading next? Wood, wood stack would be a good idea. Upgrade our wood production. And I would also like to build another dwelling over here. Just to get more land. Let's do that. Where are we going to put the windmill? I think I might build a dwelling up here and then disassemble this one. And then put a windmill basically in the middle. Or just build a windmill elsewhere with more crops. Are there any good spots? Windmill here, crops around it. Yeah, we could do that. To, there's the potential that we get a third rabbit around here though, and then we can build another researcher. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll pass the day for now. And I can take the people out of cold. Like, I'm just wasting water at this point. I see! I see we have been cursed! An omen is coming for us! Something bad is going to happen! Really? The wood stack. Wait a second, did the prophecy tell us that was going to happen? Where are we? Today, I foresee a doom event. 
So, okay, an omen is happening at some point, I guess. And we are well over the amount of coal that we need. This guy can come out. What are we researching? Wait a second, we're done researching the wood stack? That was super fast. Woodcutter hut. This requires woods terrain within one and plus two for each woods terrain within one. So building them in corners is a good idea. I think we will research that. Yeah. So the wood stack, I, I don't know if we'll bother upgrading these because if we're getting the next one so soon, like look at that, that's a great spot right there. Okay, let's build ourselves another tent. Yeah, we can put the, the fancy wood place up here. That'll make us a lot. Uh, is there any? Oh, there's one over here as well. All right, I will need some more leather though to build the tents to get over there. Should I tell them to do that? We're planting, we can gather some more carrots. Let's gather more carrots. It'll be a little while before we actually have enough for this. And then that'll be three plus two times. So uh, we'll be making six. Or sorry, six. We'll be making nine. Which should be a lot of wood. One person making nine wood per turn. That should be plenty. Oh, uh, we will need a bunch for winter though. Okay, so wait. I remember that after the doom event was averted, the village was different. Boone the settlers. Three pips are welcome. That's okay. Boone wider borders. Territory expands one tile more. I actually, I do like that. Uh, although we'll need to build a lot of tents as it is. But that's pretty cool. Boone's surge of knowledge gains 30 knowledge. Whoa. That would give us the wood production very soon. I like permanent bonuses though. Territory expands one tile more. Uh, it's kind of pointless at this stage though because I've already built all the tents. I'm not going to destroy the tents and move them over one space each. So it would only really gain us just one, one tile outside. Yeah, the wider borders actually doesn't make any sense now. So surge of knowledge, 30 knowledge, I think that's pretty good. Three pips, we can make the pips ourselves. Uh, the 30 knowledge, that, you know, that's a big amount. Look at that. There was a scroll in the tree that told us how to cut down trees more efficiently. 